After studying the effects of flying in space at NASA's Ames Research Center in California, Scott Parazinski's dream came true in 1992 when NASA selected him to fly aboard a space shuttle. During his 17-year career with NASA, he flew on five space shuttle missions and traveled more than 23 million miles in space. He also completed a total of seven spacewalks during three of those missions. Parazinski never dreamt of being a member of a crew that included one of America's space legends, Mercury astronaut John Glenn. But in 1998, he did just that aboard the shuttle Discovery on STS-95. And lift off of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Houston Discovery, roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Using his medical background, he monitored several life sciences investigations, including those involving Glenn. Parazinski's other space shuttle missions included STS-66 aboard Atlantis in 1994. Booster ignition and liftoff of Atlantis on a mission to study planet Earth. And STS-86 aboard Atlantis in 1997. Houston now Houston now control and roll, roll program initiated. Place Atlantis on its heads down track over the Atlantic. During STS-100 aboard Discovery, the ninth mission to the International Space Station, Parazinski conducted two spacewalks to assemble and power the next generation robotic arm and a radio antenna. In four spacewalks during STS-120 aboard Discovery in 2007, he helped relocate the P-6 solar array on the space station. Following his fifth spaceflight, Parazinski retired from NASA in 2009 to work in industry and to pursue other interests. Those activities include scaling to the summit of Mount Everest, the first astronaut to do so. Scott Parazinski's accomplishments embody what it means to be a member of the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame.